hello and welcome to our youtube channel in this video we are going to show you a simple process of painting a rusty shipping container using only a wire brush some household vinegar and paint plus how much it will cost stay tuned as we explain the step by step process Good, welcome back. Most shipping containers are made from cotton steel. It is sometimes referred to as weathering steel since cotton steel is generally a rust inhibitor. Ideally, containers made of cotton steel should not rust. However, just like any other steel, it is impossible to stop the aging process of a steel shipping container. It is possible to slow down the rusting process on a shipping container using a fresh coat of paint, a wire brush, and some white vinegar. If you intend to execute this task as a DIY project, you will be required to have tools and materials that are essential to get the job done. We have sampled out highly rated and well-priced products and equipment that can be purchased online to make shopping easier for DIYers. A complete list of the tools and materials for this task is provided in the description below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for these and more weekly videos on shipping, container homes, and design ideas. Without further ado, this is how to paint a rusty shipping container using the following four simple steps, including how much each step will cost. Step 1. Clean the shipping container. Start by removing any solid dirt, dust, cobwebs, loose paint chips, or any other form of debris from your shipping container using a strong, bristol broom if you have access to a pressure washer or if you can borrow or even rent one it will expedite the cleaning process greatly pay close attention to the areas that needs extra cleaning especially the joints and corners don't forget to clean the roof of your shipping container since the container roof can carry debris and solids which can encourage water pooling on the roof, hence making the container roof highly vulnerable to corrosion. It is recommended to wear safety glasses and work gloves. The biggest cost for this step is to hire or rent a pressure washer. Home Depot offers an electric pressure washer rental for as low as $35 a day for a 1,400 PSI washing machine. In most cases, you may be required to pay a damage deposit upfront to cover any damages that may occur. However, if you intend to use the pressure washer for more than one day, a rental could easily cost the same as buying a new machine yourself. So do your homework before renting one. A small 2000 PSI electric pressure washer price ranges from around 150 US dollars. The cost of a strong Bristol broom starts from $10. Step two, remove all the rust. One of the best but most expensive methods to remove rust on a shipping container is called sandblasting. Sandblasting removes all the rust down to the bare metal where you can no longer see any speck of rust and then seal and paint the shipping container. However, you can remove the patches of rust manually using a wire brush and some sandpaper. First, start by removing the rusted areas with the wire brush, then use the sandpaper to finish. Clean 
or spray wash the container again to clear the dust. Once the rust has been removed, use vinegar and rub it gently on the cleaned areas and leave it to dry. The cost of a good quality wire brush is as low as $5. A pack of two medium grit sandpaper will cost you as low as $4 and a gallon of white vinegar costs around $21. Remember the quantities of these products and materials will depend on the percentage of rust on your shipping containers. When working with chemicals, you are advised to use protective gear at all times and remember to follow instructions on each and every product you are using. Step 3. Apply the rust converter. After finishing sanding your shipping container, apply a marine grade primer or what is sometimes referred to as the rust converter and leave it to dry. A rust converter basically creates a stronger seal and base over the rusty surface from any moisture and oxygen, hence preventing any further corrosion. You are encouraged to apply two coats if you can for additional rust proofing. A good DTM paint or direct to metal paint sells around $48 a gallon. You will need three to four gallons of paint for a 20 foot shipping container. A 40 foot container will require double the amount. You are encouraged to use a paint sprayer to apply the primer uniformly on the container surface. You can hire or rent the paint sprayer machine if buying is not an option. Home Depot offers paint sprayer rentals from as low as $40 a day or $120 a week for a one gallon capacity machine. However, if you intend to use the machine for more than one day, a rental could easily cost the same as buying a new machine. Do your homework also before renting one. When working with paint, remember to also use protective gear at all times and follow the instructions on the product packaging. Step number four, apply a top coat enamel. Once the rust converter has completely dried, you can apply the final top quality paint in a color of your choice. Using a paint sprayer or a heavy paint roller is ideal when applying your final coat of paint. It can either be gloss or matte finish. Similarly, you can hire or rent the entire sprayer machine if buying is not an option. If cost is not an issue, containers for building homes can be given several coats of paint to preserve and protect the containers from other environmental factors such as UV light and heat reflection. Apart from rust prevention, you can also paint a shipping container home for other reasons such as improving the face value and the market value of your home by allowing it to blend into the surrounding. If you are using it for marketing purposes, it is a good way to brand the exterior of your shipping container. You can also paint your container to drastically slow down the spread of rust, hence making your container last longer. A good top coat enamel paint sells for around $85 a gallon and you'll need three to four gallons of paint for a 20 foot shipping container and for a 40 foot container, it will be double that amount. When working with paint, Remember to also use protective gear at all times and follow instructions of each and every product you are using 
as instructed on the packaging. We hope you found our presentation informative enough to enable you paint your rusty shipping containers or even maintain your old shipping containers on your dream home. Give us your input and your opinion by posting in the comments below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for our weekly videos and updates on amazing design ideas from shipping containers. Thank you for your time and see you in the next video.